Uh, Mark and I are very excited that we have our first child arriving later this year. And, and I certainly feel all the better, whether it's a girl or a boy, um, that she or he will grow up in a world full of so many strong young female leaders. So thank you for inspiring me, and thank you for inspiring future generations, including the one that we'll be lucky enough to welcome into our family later this year. Congratulations, Chelsea. I don't think anyone was smiling bigger than your mom <laughs> with that announcement. I, I, I just hope that I will be as good a mom to my child and hopefully children as my mom was to me. That's a hard act to follow, yeah, yeah, secretary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you expecting a child? And then <laughs> well, a grandchild, yeah. yes, which I'm, I'm really excited about. And it makes this work even more important. Um, because we've made a lot of progress. When Chelsea was saying, we're so grateful you're here because you're a different generation than she is and certainly than I am. Um, so even in the course of my life, I've seen a lot of progress. But I want to see us keep moving, and certainly for uh, future generations uh, as well, so that maybe our grandchild will not have to be... Um, worried about some of the things that young women and young men worry about today. Uh, so obviously we are very excited about what's happening in our family, but we're also very excited because of what we're uh, doing that we hope gives confidence and support to so many of you across our country as you make decisions about uh, the lives you want to lead and try to make sure there are no ceilings that are stopping you from going as far and as fast and as high as you can. So thank you, America. Let's give them another round of applause. All the girls. I know I, I, know I speak for all of us when I say thank you to the secretary and to Chelsea for everything you do.